Is your iPad feeling a little too familiar? Do you wish you had some new apps to spice things up and make it feel fresh again? Well, you're in the right place because I found several apps that are seriously unique, seriously useful, that are actually either brand spanking new or I know they'll be new to you. Of course, I've got some productivity focused apps, but I've also got some apps that are gonna help you get more out of your Apple Pencil as well as some that are just fun and unique. Okay, we're gonna kick things off with Scroll, Nested Lists and Outliner. This is an outlining app that doesn't feel like an outlining app. So here it is in action. You can see I've created a few items here. What a nice minimal interface, but it's one of the best places I would say to organize your thoughts. I can come in here and add another level to this particular item. And you can see, unlike Notion or Workflowy, items don't expand up and down. Instead, they expand over to the side. So I can actually have panels of things open here that I can scroll back and forth between and I just love the way this feels. You know what's awesome? There's an iPhone app that you can sync with so you can pick up literally wherever you left off. Let's talk about this cool pigeon here. This is the letter app. It's spelled L-E-T-T-R-E. -E. And I gotta say, this is one of the most unique iPad first apps I've ever seen. Basically, it lets you write handwritten notes to friends and family, anyone with an email address, and send them. So this would be great for kids, obviously, but also if you just wanna add that personalized touch that we really miss when we're just texting all the time, then honestly, this is one of the coolest things you can download. Instead of going to the store and getting that Hallmark card, maybe you can rethink things and get a little more personalized. I mean, it's really basic. You got your toolkit here for your Apple Pencil. You can add some attachments, some pictures if you want to. There's some artist design stamps that you can put on there too. That's kind of interesting. Element Note. This is a note-taking app. You know I like productivity and note-taking apps. And this isn't just any old note-taking app, believe me. You can see from this welcome note here, one of my favorite things, and that is gradient ink. Yeah, that's right. Your ink doesn't have to be one color. You can actually have it be multiple colors, whether it's a highlighter or just the pencils. As you can see, one of the best things is that it's just very, very minimal. You can make your own presets though, which I really like. I'm just going to grab this gradient ink here and come in and color and you can see, yeah, that's pretty cool. Something else that's kind of brilliant here is that you get these stickers that are like shapes. And so if you want to like spice up your note and throw in something that looks a little bit different, that you can actually write with. Like, I'll just put this here. Pretty cool way to segment things, I would say. As you can see the art brush here, it really inks in a fun way. But it's not just the unique interface, the unique brushes, the ready to go elements. There's also a universal search, so it's gonna search your handwriting and your PDF content, which is a must. Now we're talking about apps that can upgrade your iPad experience here, but what about apps that can upgrade your mental experience? If you wanna upgrade your mental software, then check out my courses, including the Learning to Be Productive course and my newest course, Freeform Unleashed. Ted says he took an excellent and well thought out course. Sean says he love, love, loves the Learning to Be Productive course. Is there a sale going on? Maybe, maybe not. You're gonna have to check out the link. Let's talk about the Apple Pencil. It's very rare actually to find an app that really adds something to the Apple Pencil experience, but Slide Pen actually does. This is a really brilliant app and it does one super simple thing. It turns your Apple Pencil into a presentation remote. So you can double tap or quadruple tap to advance or go back in your slides. Brilliant. Now, here I've got an Apple Note open. It's the Apple Note that I put together for this very video. And personally, I live inside of Apple Notes. That's why this next app, it's not really an app, it's more of a service, but it works with Apple Notes to do something really cool. It turns a folder of your Apple Notes into a website. It's called Quotion, which is kind of like Notion, which lets you publish your notes as a website. So you can see on the left here, you can just select a folder in your Apple Notes to turn into a website. Nicely formatted, works with all your media, including photos and PDFs. Super easy to design with. It's got analytics and several other features. SEO friendly, comment system, custom domain, etc. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited about that. There's no need to complicate things if you can just share some information right out of your Apple Notes. Why not? Next up, we have Timestripe. What a seriously cool app. This is a goal manager that gives you these different horizons to look at for your goals, whether that's today, the next few hours, the next days, weeks, months, or even years, your whole life basically. But not only that, it also gives you these insights so you're actually hitting goals and getting motivated. But that's not all. This app actually connects you with a community that shares their own templates and insights. Kanban 101, strategy and management, OKR 101, got team collaboration, business, database stuff, personal. I've never seen something quite this 
is cool before, but what I really like about it isn't even the app itself as much as it really is the widgets that it gives you. And you look at that living on your homepage and you're just instantly organized and motivated and it looks really good. What a cool app. But is it as cool as our next app, which is called Infinite Pro Infinite Zoom Art? I gotta tell you, I love, love, love the idea of an infinite canvas where you can zoom in and never run out of room to zoom. So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna say hi, I'm gonna keep zooming. We've seen apps like this before. I've covered some of them myself here on the channel, but I've never seen one that lets you add checkpoints. So as you zoom, you can hit a checkpoint and be like, oh yeah, that's where I left that. First of all, the interface is amazing. If I select the layers, it morphs, gives me the layers here. I can bookmark things, I can add pictures. So this is great, not just for artists that wanna make those cool videos where you're just zooming, 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 but also if you're taking notes and you wanna just fit stuff in, it's just a little bit more of a clever way to do things. Well, what I love about this for note taking is that your text continues to look crisp. It's never gonna look pixelated. Speaking of Apple Pencil related stuff, let's look at Exto. I think I'm saying that right. This is like relaxing drawing or painting. Personally, I'm not really into these like adult coloring book sort of apps, but I'm not opposed to throwing on some Apple music and just sort of drawing for fun. Like, have you ever just wanted some time to just think and chill, but you also need to be a little bit occupied so that your subconscious can kind of get to work? That's what I feel like you get with this app. It's just chill, you relax, and there's also a great widget, so if you wanna see what your last creation was and jump back into a session, you can easily do that. And now, I'd like to introduce you to Planner for iPad. Planner sounds boring, doesn't it? But this one has a really cool feature. Obviously, it's got some nice aesthetics. First things first, aside from this nice design, what I like about it is that I can write on here with my Apple Pencil, just like an actual paper planner from back in the day, so I don't have to type everything. Sometimes I get sick of that typed look where everything is just so neat and organized. I want it to be a little messier and personalized. And check this out, there's actually a stamp feature. So I'm just gonna stick with A here, and I'm gonna stamp that day. Whoa, that's pretty unique. If you have like a labeling system that you wanna use, boom, 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 just stamp stuff out. Really cool way to tag stuff. But you know what one of the craziest features is? You can actually sync this with your Google Calendar, have the monthly view, and just write on the monthly calendar view. That is super unique. I wanna talk about Airlist. This is a totally different take on lists. All it does is handle lists, and I love the way that it looks. Everything can be a list, right? It doesn't have to be to-dos or a grocery list. Your notes can be a list. And this is a dedicated list-making app that's kind of on steroids. You got this command center here with all these shortcuts. It incorporates dates and reminders, so you can set a due date for stuff. But maybe the craziest thing about this app is that you have saved searches. So if you got a bunch of stuff, and a bunch of lists. You can filter through all that nested stuff. So it's just like unlimited flexibility and creativity here. See this icon right here? That is the deadline icon. That stripe through the middle there, that line, basically describes in a nutshell how this app works. Put simply, you set deadlines here and those lines indicate where you are in terms of when that deadline ends. That's great, it's a powerful visual way to understand like I have this much time left, before I gotta finish this project, or before so-and-so's birthday comes up and I gotta get a present, whatever it is. But that's not my favorite part. My favorite part is the widgets because you can actually put this stuff, like I need to book a hotel or create this report and I'm overdue, on your homepage so that it's never out of sight. But also I like that you can add a note down here. So it's not just like a countdown timer, you know? But one of the best parts is the built-in notifications. You remember when Blinkist came out and everyone was like, oh, I can get these summaries that are really handy of new books and if I'm busy, I don't really have to read it. And then you realize, oh, that's $99 a year after the promotion ends, ah, uh, that's a little too expensive, I don't really wanna do that. Well, if that's you, then you definitely wanna check out the Summarize app here, which basically gives you the same information but 100% completely, totally free. And what I like about that is I can stick this over on the side and bring up some notes over here and actually kind of take notes from what I'm figuring out, what I'm learning, what I'm going through. And look at all the categories of stuff that there is here. I feel like Blinkist can be good in certain situations. I feel like something like Blinkist can be good in certain situations. Obviously nothing's better than just reading or listening to the whole book yourself, but I felt like I needed to save you some money there. Now, let's talk about Creativit. This is a mood boarding app and it does one simple thing. It helps you create a mood board. So whether you're doing like a website design or maybe you're gonna redo your office and you want all the inspiration in there, posters, desks, monitors for your desk setup, whatever it is, but you wanna organize it all visually into one place, 
This is probably the coolest app that I've seen for that. And while you could do a mood board in something like Freeform, sometimes it is nice to just have a dedicated app and that's all that the developer was focused on and you get a more seamless experience. All right, now technically, I've talked about this next app in some video somewhere before. It's called Private LLM and what it is, is a local AI. So it's like a chat GPT alternative, but it's local. So it runs on your iPad. And let me tell you, this is one of the best reasons to have Apple Silicon. The second I type something here, let's say, what is gravity, okay? And it's gonna get to work. Look how fast it's going. If you did that on, let's say, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it would get instantly hot on the back. You almost wouldn't wanna touch it anymore. And it would be slow. It would be like one word every second or slower than that. And the main reason you might want something like this, number one, is because it's private. So you don't have something like ChatGPT and Microsoft knowing every little thing about you. This is just for you. Let me tell you next about Rocket Typist. That's this one with the cool logo here. As you can see, this app offers to boost your typing. Basically what it is, is a way to insert macros or text snippets that you're frequently finding yourself typing so it'll save you time into any place so you can insert text on your iPad. Like sometimes we have sponsors on the channel who are like, what are your rates for sponsorship? And I'm like, okay, I'm typing this out and it's the same email that I've typed a thousand times. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to just hit rocket typist and insert a little macro like spawn and it will type out everything that that person needs to know and I can just hit send. So wow, I actually have other apps that I've been saving up for a while that I could share. So if you wanna see another video like this, let me know down in the comments. I know it's been a while. This used to be the bread and butter of this channel. I would go through once a year and have the best apps of the iPad that nobody's ever heard of before and they would get like 2 million views. But whatever you do, don't forget to check out the courses. I'll just let you know, there is still a discount that you can get linked up down below, so check it out. If you have any great apps that you've discovered recently that you wanna to add to this list, leave me a comment with those two, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.